In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can charge different lithium batteries using this very popular module, which is lithium charger with TP4056 integrated chip. And using one simple idea, we're gonna make this module to charge with different current rates. Let's start. Hello, tours, and welcome back to my channel. And as I said, I'm going to show you one useful trick how to charge your lithium batteries with different current rates. I don't know, did you know, but here is a programmable resistor for the chip to charge with different current. If we change that resistor, we're going to change the current. Right now, from the factory, is set on 1 ampere, but some batteries can can be charged with one amp in some cases we need lower current in some cases we we need a higher current so my point is how to add a different current charging rates this is the resistor program current settings and if you use a let's say 1.2 kilo ohm resistor for the charger module you will charge with 1000 milliamperes or 1 amp if you change that resistor to, to 10 kilo ohms you are gonna charge the battery with 130 milliamperes I will use this dip switch it have four independent switches and to those switches I'm gonna control the resistors let me explain here it is the dip switch one two three four micro switches and for each switch I'm gonna use a resistor with different resistor values for the first I'm gonna use 10 kilo ohms 3.9 kilo ohms 2 kilo ohms and 1.2 kilo ohms for the highest current which is 1 amp for the third will be 580 milliampers, the second two 320 milliampers, and when the first switch is turned on and the circle will close with 10 kilo ohm resistance, I will get 130 milliampers. Very simple for building and attaching to the module. In my previous project I made this changing the resistance using a potentiometer but it's not very accurate so in this video I'm gonna show you how to make it with a dip switch and manual changing the resistance and changing the charging current and that will be better version I think okay let's build this first finish it and here it is my manual resistor switch using four switches and you will ask why I'm using five resistors because the, the last one I, I couldn't find 1.2 kilo ohms I'm using 1 kilo ohm plus 200 ohms to get 1.5 1.2 kilo ohms so we have in and out and this is the resistor selector for for choosing the right charging current for this lithium charger module with programmable current resistor in this case I'm gonna use this selector okay let's connect everything everything is connected and set up I have a lithium battery connected to lithium charger 
module which is attached a manual selecting resistor for different current rates here I have my USB doctor, USB meter plug in <coughs> sorry you can see that right now with switch number one turn it on we are charging with 100 milliampers that's good okay I'm gonna turn it off and turn it on the second right now I'm charging with 250 milliampers probably the battery is almost full that's why it's 250 milliampers should be 300 and over milliampers trying number three this is almost 500 milliampers and number four is the maximum with 1 amp but is pulling 600 milliampers because the battery is almost full I'm gonna measure that let's measure the voltage of the battery yep 4 volts is it's almost full that's why it's not pulling 1 ampere of current so why I made a manual charging current selector because this kind of battery you can charge it maybe with 1 amp but if you have a small battery like this one uh, you need to charge it with let's say with 50 milliampers 100 milliampers maybe so that's why you have a charger current selector you wanna choose turning off turning on number one and you will get 100 milliampers so you can charge your small battery different batteries different charging current rates I hook up the smaller lithium battery and right now there is no current flowing because I didn't choose I'm gonna choose 100 milliampers and it's charging you can go with maybe 250 but that, that is too much for this small lithium battery I'm gonna stay with 100 milliampers very good idea for selecting the right current the right current for charging lithium batteries I like it that was all for today's video please give a like share and subscribe to my channel see ya my voice is different Maybe I'm getting cold.